that zone rushing scheme can be. Well, here's the thing, east and west, you don't want that 240 pound monster um, dictates. So, to four eyes, bring them in the four eyes. I would play. Welcome to X and O's of Joe's, I'm Gene Clements. It's a special NFL edition of X and O's of Joe's, our defensive edition. We're looking at how do we stop the 12 personnel of the Tennessee Titans and that monster running back, Derrick Henry. We're going to look at what the Ravens need to do in their 3-4 different defense that's a little bit different than what the Patriots tried to do in their 3-4 defense in order to defeat, or at least in order to, the, to stop the, the zone running play, which has been the bread and butter of what the Titans have done, especially late in the season. Stay tuned. When the Ravens line up versus the Titans, they're really going to have to be aware of the Titans' 12 personnel and their zone running scheme out of the 12 personnel. Last week versus the Patriots, you can see how a 3-4, how the Patriots' 3-4 defense lined up to this zone scheme. They were looking to cover up the tackles at the four techniques and the zero noses. They had their outside linebackers in the nine technique tight looking to hold on these tight ends. The problem with the zone scheme is that if you allow the double teams to happen, they will displace that defensive lineman so far that even if a linebacker is able to make a tackle, you're still getting three to four yards of carry. Now what happens with Derrick Henry is because he has an ability to not only read the hole but to break an arm tackle, he normally gets through a, a an avenue that a linebacker comes or a safety comes to tackle him, he either runs through an arm tackle or he's savvy enough to make a, just enough of a cut to get by him. So this is what they were doing versus the Patriots. The Patriots were coming out in their base 34. They were here, they were running their zone scheme here. This tackle was looking to work to the outside so that he could double team with this front side guard. So they were deucing this guy up to the second level linebacker. The backside guard and the center were doing the same thing to this nose guard, looking to try to double to work to the second level. These two guys on the backside, similar things. Looking to tray block, that's with the tight end and the tackle. They're looking to tray block this thing up to the second level. But if you notice, They've got double teams on the three major key components of a defense when it comes to stopping the run game, the defensive lineman. So these guys were getting displaced and they were getting blown off the ball sometimes or because they were trying to fit and shed, they were getting themselves into a situation where Henry, who was pressing on the outside zone, was able to cut back and have a really, really nice hole. And that is how he was able to kill them all day. This guy couldn't be right. If he tried to force his way this way, Henry would go through here and now he's up on a safety. If he tries to come over, Henry's cutting back and now it's an arm tackle on the linebacker. Whichever way it was happening, Henry was able to make the appropriate cut that allowed them to have success. So what would I do if I was a defensive coordinator of the Ravens to try to stop this, which is their bread and butter offensive run play. Stay tuned. So if you're the Baltimore Ravens, how do you combat against this offense when you know how deadly that zone rushing scheme can be? Well, here's the thing. I believe they have to stop allowing Derrick Henry to hold a cutback. They have to make Derrick Henry bounce the ball. You want him going east and west. You don't want that 240-pound monster getting north and south. And the way to do that is to actually reduce down and take away these natural bubbles that the 3-4 um, dictates. So I would change these tackles and bring them in to four eyes instead of having them be head up fours. Bring them into four eyes. I would play the linebackers head up. And now I am actually going to invite the outside run game. I'm going to invite 
that outside run game. I want that, I want that guy to think to himself, okay, there's no hole and there's no outside guy, outside force guy, so I'm going to bounce outside. So I'm going to go four eyes for the tackles. Four eyes for the tackles. I'm going to go head up, seven techniques for the outside linebackers. That is going to hopefully free up my linebackers to run east and west without any type of disruption. Now my, my safeties, now my safeties are able to run the alley because we're not concerned about play action. Yes, play action can happen, but we're not concerned about play action. If they're going to beat us with play action over the top, then we're going to take our chance that Ryan Tannehill can continue to complete balls over the top. But for right now, we're going to focus in on stopping this guy from having 200 plus yards rushing versus us. If they're going to beat us through the air, then let's take a chance of beating us through the air. We have all pros out here at the corners. We have Pro Bowl caliber safeties. We're going to let them do their job. So now when they get to here and this guy is running and this guy's trying to take over here, he's trying to get to this linebacker, they're going to still try to do the same things. But now we have free guys that are able to attack because there are no cutback lanes. He's going to come here. He can attack negative A if he needs to to take away any type of short cutback. So I'm going to fill up these gaps and not allow him to get inside. I want him, when he takes this, to think, okay, there's nothing here, so I have to bounce outside. And now when he bounces outside, our entire team has an opportunity to rally to the ball. I also think it's very important that these guys be willing to hit Derrick Henry because it did not look like the New England Patriots wanted to hit Derrick Henry. At the end of the day, he's still a star. And as we know, the Joes always went out over the X's and O's when they're at their peak. But this is going to put you in an opportunity to be successful going forward. That's going to do it for us today on X and O's, the Joes. I'm Gene Clemens. If you've liked what we've done, make sure that you like it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, we love the fact that y'all are listening. Y'all are paying attention to what we're doing. Um, this has always been a, pl a passion of ours is to, is to give this information out to you and we want to continue to do so. Um, so every time you hit that like button, it's an opportunity for that al algorithm to work and get it out to more people. Every time you hit that subscribe button, that gives us one more opportunity for YouTube to see that this is valuable and for, and for them to promote us to other people who might be looking for this same material. Um, Make sure you check out the playoffs this, this weekend, um, Tennessee versus Baltimore. It's going to be a great game. I won't tell you who I'm going for. I just know it's going to be really hard to stop Baltimore, especially if they come out in that diamond formation. And it's going to be really hard to stop Tennessee in this 12 personnel running that stretch zone play. Um, but I think if these defenses do some of the things we were talking about today, that they can have success. So until next time, y'all have a good one.